If you're stepping into the world of crypto or if you're already in it, then you know that keeping your digital funds safe is extremely important. That's where hardware wallets, or so-called cold wallets, come in. They are super useful on Ethereum Layer 1 because there aren't any smart wallets with native two-factor authentication there. Hardware wallets are physical devices that securely store the private keys needed to access and manage crypto. So in other words, your funds are kept on the blockchain while your hardware wallet only stores the private keys to access them. Unlike online wallets on computers, hardware wallets are not constantly connected to the internet, which makes them less vulnerable to online theft and hacking. This is due to the fact that, as mentioned previously, two-factor authentication is not available on Ethereum Layer 1. They are considered one of the safest ways to store crypto on Layer 1 because the private keys never leave the device. Now I'll show you how to set up a hardware wallet. And for this tutorial, I'll be using Ledger, but you can use any other provider like Trezor, for example. And quick disclaimer, this is not advice. I'm just showing you how it works. Before we start, I want to emphasize the importance of getting hardware wallets from official websites and not third-party sites. So double and triple check the website's authenticity and make sure that the package comes unopened and still sealed. Okay, to start off, unbox your wallet. You'll be getting your hardware wallet, a getting started guide, sheets for your seed phrase, and stickers. The first step is to download Ledger Live. You can do so on either your phone or on your laptop, but again, please make sure that you're downloading from the correct site. Step two, open up Ledger Live and click get started. You can then choose which kind of Ledger wallet you want to set up. And from there, you can just follow the steps on screen and kind of get to know your wallet. Step three is writing down your recovery seed phrase. And this is a very important step since the only way of recovering your hardware wallet is with these seed words. The wallet will show you the words, which you can write down on the cards that we set aside while unboxing. Then you'll have to confirm your seed phrase on your hardware wallet by matching the words with the order in which you wrote them down. Now keep in mind, if lost, stolen, or forgotten, your funds will be gone. So keep your recovery seed phrase in a very safe place. Also be aware that nobody will ever ask you to enter your recovery seed phrase. So keep that stuff to yourself. Step four. Depending on the type of funds that you'd like to add to your hardware wallet, you're gonna have to download a specific app. And for the Starknet ecosystem, go ahead and download the Ethereum app. And that's all there is to it. To sum it up, hardware wallets are physical devices that allow you to store your layer one assets in a very safe and secure place. For Starknet Layer 2, there are many awesome smart wallets with native account abstraction that enable two-factor or even three-factor authentication methods, so be sure to check them out. Alright, thank you very much for listening and see you soon. Bye!